The purpose of this video is to show how to perform a factorial analysis on mixed data with the factor minor package. The factorial analysis on mixed data is a principal component method which takes into account both quantitative and categorical variables as uh, active variables. So first I will load the factor minor package and I will use the FAMD function. We can see the help of this function and on the bottom of this help there is an example on geomorphology. So I can load the dataset and first summarize the dataset. So this dataset contains 10 quantitative variables and one categorical variables and one categorical variable which is named drift and corresponds to type of drift. Typically with this data set an MCA could be performed if all the continuous variables are divided into categories and thus recoded into categorical variables. Then all the variables are categorical and MCA can be performed. But in this case some information is lost because the variables are in nature continuous. So we will prefer to perform a factorial analysis on mixed data where we will keep the nature of the variables. The quantitative variables are considered as quantitative and the categorical variable is considered as a categorical one. So I'm going to perf perform a factorial analysis on mixed data using the FAMD function on the dataset morphology. There are no supplementary samples, no supplementary variables else I could specify some supplementary elements. Because here there is only one categorical variable, this variable is considered as active, else all the active variables would be quantitative and we would perform a PCA. So the analysis is performed and first I summarize the results using the summary function on the output, so the object res. We will see that this function gives results that are mixed between PCA results and MCA results. So first we have a recall of the lines of code that is used, that was used. So FAMD on the dataset morphology. Then we have the eigenvalues and the percentage of inertia, that is to say the percentage of variance associated with each dimension. And then we have the results for the samples. By default the first 10 samples with the coordinate on the first dimension, the contribution to the construction of the first dimension and the quality of representation measured by the square cosine. If the square cosine is close to 1 it means that the sample is well projected on the dimension. So here are the results for the first dimension and then the same results for the second and the third dimension. Then we have the results for the variables. First for the quantitative variables. So by default, once again, the results for the first 10 variables. The results are the coordinate of the variable on the dimension, the contribution of the variable to the construction of the dimension, and the quality of representation for the first three dimensions. Then we have the results for the categorical variables. Here we just have one categorical variable and for one categorical variable we have the results for all its categories. So the drift categorical variable has six categories and therefore we have the six categories and their coordinates, their contribution to the construction of the dimension, their quality of representation and then uh, their v-test. So the v-test takes its values between minus 2 and 2 unless the coordinate is significantly different from 0. A v-test is less than minus 2 if on average the coordinates of samples who take the category as significantly less than 0. And the v-test is greater than 2 if the samples who take the category have a coordinate that are on average significantly greater than zero. So samples who take the category diamict have coordinate significantly greater than zero on the first dimension. Samples who take the category cam and those who take the category terraces have coordinates significantly less than zero on the first dimension. 
and it is the same on the second and on the third dimension. So there was no result here for supplementary samples, for supplementary quantitative variables or supplementary categorical variables because there were no supplementary elements. So then we have several graphs. We have four graphs. First, the variables graph with both continuous and categorical variables. A coordinate for a categorical variable is the squared correlation ratio between the continuous variables that corresponds to the coordinates of the samples on the dimension and the categorical variables. The squared correlation ratio is an indicator that quantifies the link between the a quantitative and a categorical variable. It is the indicator that is used in one-way analysis of variance. So we have the squared correlation ratio with the first dimension and the squared correlation ratio with the second dimension for the variable drift. For quantitative variables, we will calculate the squared correlation coefficient between the variable and the dimension. So why the squared correlation ratio, the squared correlation coefficient, because it made possible to represent quantitative and categorical variables on the same graph. Thus, we have a graph with uh, categories. The categories could be drawn on the samples graph. More precisely, the same graph as in MCA, where a category is at the centroid of the samples who take the category. We draw the samples here and then a graph with the quantitative variables, the same graph as in PCA, corresponding to the correlation circle graph. I can draw the graph of samples and color the samples according to the variable drift. So samples are colored according to the category they have for this variable. So in red, we have the samples who take the category beach and in dark blue samples that take the category came. So as with all principal component methods, after the factorial analysis on mixed data, we can perform a classification, a clustering. So the main advantage of a classification or a clustering performed on the principal components is that the distances between samples take into account both the information provided by the quantitative variables and by the categorical variables. 